Hey everyone. Nah. Not today. Let's try this. Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this kind of kinetic typography. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. This video is sponsored by Vecteasy.com. A destination for the designer to free download, hundreds of vector graphics. Choose from the different categories. Select any vector you like, and directly download or start editing your vectors online. Start building your logo or graphics for free. Add your text or brand name. Download and use it any way you want. Check link in the description. Let's start it. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Kinetic Typography. I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second, you are free to use your own setting. Let's create a new solid. We will call it background. I am using red color for the background, but you are free to use any color or background image. Now, we are going to import our audio file first. I am using the simple voiceover file for this tutorial. You can choose any one. You can place it anywhere you want, top or bottom. Because you cannot see audio. Right now, my audio is 3 seconds long, so let's trim our composition R by pressing N. And then right click on this top work bar, and select trim comp to work area. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Now, select your audio file, and press L, double time, to open waveform. Now you can see the audio. This is the waveform of your audio. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. This waveform shows your words pronounce. We are going to place our text according to this waveform. Each waveform represents speech in our audio. Let's create our text, above this background layer. Select your text tool, and start typing your text. You can use any font you want. You can download this font from the link in the description. Press Ctrl plus Enter to eject from the type tool. Please note, you have to create every single letter on the single layer. Just add some random position words, we will arrange them later. Every word should be on its own separate layer, so that we can place it individually. These all are my words on the separate layer. Cool. Let's arrange these words to make it look more beautiful. You can randomly increase or decrease the size of any word you want. I am just showing you the way, destiny is yours. You are free to do any typography style you want. This could take time to arrange these letters first. But it is not that hard to do. Just place your texts how you like it. Use some small letters and big letters. Select all your text and align it to the center. Let's do some extra detailing work. Press Ctrl plus R to open ruler, and drag the ruler on the start and the beginning. Now, align your text inside it. Please note, this step is optional, you are free to use any design you want. I am trying to keep my text inside these ruler lines. Please note, these lines will not be visible in the final video output, so don't worry adding them. Make sure to add equal space between all words. You can use the arrow keys to move your text any way you want. I know this is not the best design, but I am trying to shorten this tutorial. This is now what my text look like. Let's start placing it according to our audio file. Go to the lowest point, and select your first word layer. 
press square bracket open to start your layer from here. My first word will appear at the time of this word. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. You must listen to your audio file first to get an idea where you need to start the specific word in the text. Do the same with all other text layers. Use square bracket key to set the playback position of the words. Now, at this time, I cannot see my waveform to adjust my text according to it. Press the wave key to switch layers to full screen. Now you can adjust your layers according to this waveform. Please note, you may find the speech words starting point at the beginning of the high peaks. Arrange all your text layers according to these peak points. I am using the square bracket open key to set the starting position of my word. And then press wave key again to switch back to the normal size window. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Perfect. You may need more time to set your layer timing. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Now, I want to separate my sum and times words on different layers, as you can hear the break in the speech. I am duplicating the same layer, so I don't have to set the font size and position again. Use the arrow key to move your layer to the left. Perfect. Now I have some and times words on different layers. Let's arrange the times layer according to the audio waveform. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Perfect. This is what I wanted to do. Now, I want to move my layers, as the text appears on the screen. Go to the layers, and create a new null object. Put this null object on the top of all layers. Let's call it animation. Now, select all your layers, except background layer, and make them 3D clicking on this icon. If you don't see your switches here, right click on the top, and in the column section, choose switches. Now, we are going to apply animation on this animation layer, and that animation, will be applied on all text layers below. This step is optional, you can skip it, if it is too confusing. Select your all text layers, and open parents by right clicking on the top, and in the column section, choose parent. Change none to animation and your layers will be parented to this animation layer. Now select animation layer and press P. Add a keyframe on the position. Now, I want my text to be visible on the first frame, so change Z position on the animation layer. For moving your text, make sure to use this square, not the layer. Align your text to the center. Let's delete my first keyframe because I don't want animation in the beginning. Now, let's add another keyframe few frames before my second text appear. Click here to add another keyframe manually. Go to the few frames forward where my second text appears. And change the Z position to something smaller than the previous one. Do the same with all other layers as well. Adding keyframe manually, will duplicate the same data, of the previous one, so you will not have any animation applied on that keyframe. This will work as the hold keyframe. I will make a tutorial on the keyframes in few days, till then, you can just follow my steps. As I already told you. This step is optional. You can use it without animating the position of the words. After successfully adding keyframes on the animation layer, 
your text layers will be animating like this. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Adjust the keyframes according to your speech and text appearing. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Cool. Let's add motion blur to the layers, select all layers, and click on the motion blur icon to activate it. Perfect. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Now select all your keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Cool. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Now the final step. Select all your layers, except background layer. Right click on it and pre-compose them. Let's call it typography. Now, go to the effects and presets, and search for, for color gradient effect. Apply this effect on the typography layer. Change all three colors to the yellow color. And change the last color to the pink color. It will give you a nice looking color effect. Now, right click on the typography, go to the layer style, and apply drop shadow on it. Open this drop shadow style, and change size to 0%. Change the opacity to 50%. And change the distance to 10. Let's change the opacity to 30%. And you are done. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Sometimes you gotta be run before you can walk. Sometimes Thanks for watching this tutorial. Have a nice day.